Gifts for men are so hard to find. I mean, what do guys even want? Stuff that I have no idea about, techie stuff, sports stuff, like. It's all untrue, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to get for the guy in your life in this video. So now you're gonna give us ideas of what to buy our men, right? I have some great ideas for you and they won't break the bank. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. go. The first gift idea we're gonna talk about for any guy is gonna seem a little stereotypical, but it totally works and it's affordable and guys like them. It's a knife. This is not just about having a cool, sharp, stabby thingy. This is utilitarian. Every time I need to open a box and somebody says, Brandon, can you open this box? And I say, yep. Yeah. I don't have my knife. I can't open the box. You need to have a knife if you're a man. Also, men like to fantasize that one day they'll end up in a survival situation and they'll need a knife. And then you have a knife. What if you need to cut a zip tie? Serrated blade knife. I actually like this one. It's the Smith & Wesson Border Guard model. You can get this on Amazon for around 20 bucks. We'll link that below. I used to carry the smaller one and then I found they had a bigger one. It's not just a nice black knife and you'll notice lots of black. It's kind of the family color. But it's got a seatbelt cutter and a window puncher for if you're trapped in your car or something like that or you have to rescue someone from a car. Uh, built into the knife. So I really like this knife. I used to carry the smaller version of it. I'm gonna link both of those down below. This one's got a 4.4 inch blade. That one's I think is a three and a half inch blade. I don't know a guy like who wouldn't like to get a knife and plus they can just walk around doing this all the time. So try it. Oh, and you know what they can eat with that knife? Bacon. I know bacon has become like this crazy stereotype for men around the world, but there's a reason. Bacon is delicious. And I'm not just saying like make a man some bacon, although that's an excellent gift. I'm saying buy a man some candied bacon. I actually got from some volunteers at church a couple of years ago, a surprise party in like our dream team, like our volunteer area. They made me a cake and they got me like, some gift cards. It was really, really sweet. I love it. They sang to me, okay. Uh, but somebody brought me wrapped in tissue paper, like a, like a little package, bacon. They brought me candied bacon. I thought they love me. That is a thoughtful present to bring a man. I don't know men who don't like bacon. If you don't like bacon, men, um, I'm sure Jesus loves you. I just, can we talk about where you're getting your bacon? Because maybe it could be better. Anyway, candy bacon is awesome and you can actually get it on Amazon. We're linking that down below. It keeps for like a good while. It doesn't actually have to be refrigerated, which is kind of crazy. I guess because it's cured and it's candied, stuff won't grow on it. And I can almost guarantee People are not buying men candied bacon that much. You will be in a unique position and he will think you actually know him because guys kind of think like they have a monopoly on the love of bacon. It's all of us. Just get a man some candied bacon. If the man on your list is more culinarily inclined or he likes to help with like meal prep and stuff or he likes sandwiches or whatever, get him a meat slicer. We got this a couple of years ago. You can usually find them for around $150 and it's already paid for itself. Deli meats, if you've been looking, you know, they cost at least seven, eight dollars on the low end per pound, up to 10, 12, 13 dollars if you're buying boar's head, things like that. And I love deli meat sandwiches, but that's so expensive. The ham we buy at Costco, the big old ham you see us in the Costco halls if you watch those things, costs closer to two or 250 a pound, and we slice it up, and it's better than the stuff we get in the deli. We save a whole lot of money, this thing will pay for itself over the years if you're a person who likes sandwiches or if you're a person who has kids who eat lunch meat every day at school. This thing's amazing, also great for cheeses. There's a serrated blade you could get that's really awesome for slicing bread. So just juke, 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 juke. If you buy like artisan bread things or whatever and you want sliced bread, this will take care of that too. So this is linked down below and you could get this for a guy if he likes to slice things. Another great option for most guys, because even if you're not really a tech nerd, most guys like techie stuff, is a pair of wireless headphones. I actually use these guys, which still have like the backstrap cable, because it's way cheaper and they have the same functionality and actually typically have similar or better battery life. Now you can get these guys for like $30 or less. If you get a really, really good deal, it could be less. I think these right now are 25 or 30 bucks on Amazon. These are the Aki Bluetooth 5.0 headphones. They actually work at a good distance. I use them because at night, my brain is often spinning, so I'll listen to a podcast or a YouTube video while I'm going to sleep. I know, not the best thing ever, but it's the blue light, not the noise, right? The noise helps me go to sleep. Or like really boring voices reading the Bible. That's actually really good to help you go to sleep. But try these guys, we'll link them below. Uh, you just open them and it automatically turns on the Bluetooth and I could play them right now. 
well, I guess play them right now from my phone, it would work right away. So these are a great option for any guy, headphones at work, or if your guy works out, like these are a great option as well, they stay out of your way. The ear pods and the expensive Samsung ones, they're great, they're, they're really, really good. But for most use cases, they're not really necessary, and it's a lot of money you could use for other things, and I'm cheap, so these guys. Another great option in the audio department would be this Bluetooth shower speaker. It actually works super well. You can stick it onto the shower with a suction cup or hang it from the rack where your soap or shampoo and all that is kept, and it works well through the wall. I will often listen to podcasts or other videos when I'm in the shower, and this way I'm not taking my phone in, even though it should be relatively waterproof. It's kind of nice, I can just leave it on the countertop or I can charge it when I'm in there and have it broadcasting to the Bluetooth speaker. So this is another really good option, link below. And if he's into cameras, we're gonna show you two options. One is gonna be actually the camera we use for all of our videos and vlogs. It's great, it does 1080 up to 60 frames a second and it does 4K 24 and the quality is really tremendous, especially at 1080. It's got really awesome autofocus, dual pixel autofocus, better than most cameras I've seen anywhere else. And the price is actually really good for what it is. I think we paid about 600 for it. That's still kind of the going rate because COVID has caused everything to be crazy, but you can sometimes catch it on a great deal. And if it's for Christmas, it's still totally worth it. I would buy it again at that price if we needed it, even 700. It came out, I think at 800 and something dollars, the Canon M50. I can't show it to you because it's literally in front of me right now, but it will be linked down below and we'll show some B-roll of that that we'll take with this, and this is the other option. If you wanna save a little money, or if your guy's in a sports action and wants to do more things outdoors, this is great because you can throw it in the water for the most part, it'll never have a problem. We've used it in the pool for a vlog we did at Disney. Camera can't be water. This one can. Why? It's waterproof. Oh, good. It can drop and be okay. It has really good image stabilization, and for outdoor shooting, the image is really, really good. I've actually really been impressed with its automatic color balancing capabilities. The wide angle's great. It does awesome time-lapse shots. We've used those for a lot of videos because otherwise it's a pain. This is a great option and it's like half the price, especially now. The GoPro Hero 8 Black, which was the best of the best last year, is way, way discounted. You can pick up a kit now for like 280 on sale pretty much anywhere. Costco's got a great deal. Also, Amazon has a great deal, so we'll link that down below. But this is a great option for any guy, and it's small and functional. They like it. Also, for pretty much anybody who's like a human in the world right now, a good charging block is awesome because most devices don't come with blocks anymore. They just come with cables, and this is actually a power delivery charger. I'm gonna link the one down below that has two slots in it, one for power delivery, one for just regular quick charge both USB-C, which is gonna be compatible with more devices going forward, and they're pretty reasonably priced. They do a great job. Easy, quick gift for any guy. Quick interruption here. If you aren't already subscribed, click the button down below, and make sure you hit the notification bell up to all so that you don't miss when we post new videos, which is every Tuesday and Friday. And hey, if you're liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, because it helps the YouTube algorithm to promote the videos because it's like, oh hey, people like this. And that's how our community is gonna grow. And if you're interested in any of the items in the video, make sure you check out the links in the description box because it helps to support our channel when you go through those links, and it doesn't change the price for you at all. Okay, let's get back to Brandon. I know a lot of men, might say that they're not really readers, so they wouldn't want you to get them a book. But for most guys, that's actually not true. There are some guys who are super into nonfiction books. They love professional development and self-analysis, and some guys are really, really into fantasy. I wanna go through a few different books that I would recommend that would make great gifts for any guy on your list this year. The first one is 12 Rules for Life by Dr. Jordan Peterson. This is an awesome book for any guy who likes to develop, grow, mature himself, uh, this will be challenging. They will find themselves uh, doing a lot of self-reflection, introspection. Great for the ladies too, obviously. Brigitte and I both have a copy, but I definitely recommend it. I'll read you a couple of these rules real quick, just to give you an idea of what's in the book. How about rule four? Compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not who someone else is today. Nine, assume the person you're listening to might know something you don't. How about one for the parents? Number five, don't let your children do anything that makes you dislike them. Anyway, I could go off on a rant on like all 12 of these. I would, but that's a different video. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Great book though for any guy on your list. Another great option that I can't find my physical copy of, but I have a physical copy of, is Extreme Ownership by Jocko Willink. He's a former Navy SEAL. He's kind of the man. Uh, he wakes up at like 4.30 every day to work out. It doesn't happen for me, but the kids wake me up early enough anyway. But this is a great book about leadership. 
and extreme ownership in situations where it'd be easy to pass the buck and how that can help us grow as a person. So I think that's a great book for any guy on your list. What kind of a guy, what kind of a pastor would I be if I didn't say, you could get your guy a Bible. Just say, if you are a Christian person and they are a Christian person or they're a person who wants to read a Bible. I'm a little biased. I like this one. I like my leather boundy things. It's got huge margins for taking notes. It's the ESV, which I like. I was looking for an NASB version. Uh, that had that, but I just couldn't get all the things I wanted in it. I like the app. I like that I can open up my phone and read it, but there's just something about sitting down with a physical Bible and digging into it. So this is a great option as well. If your guy is into fantasy books or sci-fi, great book to start in a series that's going to get really intense. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I can recommend that. Or The Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanders. I'm going to link all that down below. You know what else you can do though? For the guys who don't really like to read or maybe they like to listen to books so they don't have a lot of time, Audible is a great option because audiobooks are a way easier way if you want to listen on your commute because you shouldn't like be holding a book in the car. If you want to listen on your commute to work and back or while you're doing stuff around the house, audiobooks are a great way to consume content when you otherwise may not be able to. And if you're looking for a way to get audiobooks, you can buy a membership for a guy you love or they can start a trial membership for free for 30 days by clicking on our link below in the description. This way you can get a free audiobook, possibly up to two, I think, in the deal. So check that out. What you pay for the audiobooks would be way more than what you pay for the Audible subscription to get a new book every single month and it's free for the first month. So go check that out for the guy in your life. One other book edition would be Bushcraft 101. Guys are super into survival stuff, like a lot of guys. This is all about what you can eat in the wild and how to build a lean-to shelter and how to use your knife and how to start a fire. This is like a guy's dream, like one day I will provide for my family with all of my manly knowledge that I don't have because I grew up watching Nickelodeon and I live in the city, but you could get him the book and then he would know things. And it's really cheap actually. So link in that down below as well. You know what else men like is guns. I can't tell you to buy a gun on YouTube because they'll like demonetize the video. So maybe I can't say that, we'll find out. But you know what you can do? You can buy him a bug assault. This is a straight up salt shooting shotgun for bugs. It's like a fly swatter, but manly and fun and easy. You know, the problem with the fly swatter is flies are really fast and they twitch and they go out of the way before they, the wind from the fly swatter can hit them. They can't avoid this. This thing shoots salt up to about three feet. At three feet, it really, you could barely even feel it. At six inches, it would break your skin. Do not point this at humans or shoot them, but oh man, if you want to hit a bug, this is amazing. We bought this a few years back and it's perfectly good. It works great. The newer models have been upgraded with newer features and such, but we absolutely love it. One of the best purchases ever. You can just splat spiders and thwart flies and destroy any of the insects that ruin your lives. This is a great present for a guy. Get him one. It works awesome. She likes using it too. Yeah. Also, if your guy's a gamer, you should possibly get him this. It's a little bit Pricey, but 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 wait, hear me out. Yes, I can see you through this. Isn't that crazy? There's cameras all over this thing. I can see all my environment until I start a game. This is the Oculus Quest 2. This is the newest VR system from Oculus. The stuff you can do with this, guys, is absolutely amazing. I play a game called Beat Saber. It's kind of my new workout. Yes, you can call me a nerd. Yes, I am, and I'm proud of it. And this thing is so cool. Any guy would like this. Imagine slicing boxes as they come to you on the rhythm of music with lightsabers and enhancing your skill in it as you go and working up a sweat. Any guy would like that. Also, there's a game called Vader Immortal, which is a Star Wars game. My wife is filming this right now, not knowing that I want to buy it. Honey, FYI, I kind of want to buy it because you legit get to have lightsaber battles. Just saying, it's amazing. You look like an idiot playing with it. To be clear, but it's really great. I'm going to link that down below as well. And though it's a little bit pricey, know that it's like a third of what these things cost just a couple years ago and better than all those were. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and check out the links if you're interested in any of the items that we talked about. And ladies, just know it actually doesn't matter how much the item costs, even for guys, it really is the thought that counts, which is why we end up with an item like candied bacon on the list. And until next time, don't forget, life, life is, is better, better together. together. Which one of those do you want? Can you just tell me now? Ha <laughs> ha!